Hey, welcome to another innovational production. So you're using the M Audio Air interface and you're getting no sound out of your computer. Well, hopefully I've got a solution for you. Now you've probably come to this video through my other video, which is a sound test and review of the Air 192 USB audio interface. If you scroll down to the comments, there are a couple of comments of people having issues with not getting any sound out of the computer. So here's one here and here's another one here. So we'll just minimize that. So the issue happens because a particular program, like a door or a audio application, is actually changing the Windows audio settings. So you see here, very faintly because it's grayed out, it's at a sample rate of 192,000 Hertz. Now go over to the speaker icon here, right click, open sound settings, go to device properties, make sure M Audio is your output device. And after that, you go to additional device properties. Now this will open up a window. If you go to advanced, you'll see that it's 24 bit, which is what this sound card is, and 192,000 Hertz. Now if you go back to the M Audio Air control panel, you see that the Hertz corresponds. You press play, no issues. If this is in a different frequency, okay, let's change it to 96,000. You press play, no sound whatsoever. It's not working, okay? So make sure that it's in the correct bit and also the correct sample rate. Okay, no problems there. Now what you want to do is to make sure these two boxes are unchecked because by checking these boxes will enable another application to mess up your sound settings. Okay, so make sure that they're unchecked. So to do a test, I'm going to show you how one of my particular programs actually messes things up. Okay, so I'm going to open a program called Analog Lab, which is from Arturia. Click that. So as soon as I open this application, I don't know if you can see it or not, but over here in the control panel, it's gone down to 96,000. Now the reason is that this program can only operate at a maximum of 96,000 Hertz. So it's automatically dropped the M audio interface to 96,000, which works with no issues when you're in this particular program. But once you close it, all right, it's 96,000. I'm gonna close that again. Now we'll go back into the window settings. So go to additional device properties. Go to advanced and open up M audio again. So you can see these two are matching, but they're 96,000 Hertz now, which works well with the Arturia Analog Lab program, but it doesn't work for anything else. So if I just press play, look, there's an error because this sample rate does not work. So what you want to do is go back to 192,000, apply, and it works. And it's automatically changed the sample rate in the M Audio control panel to the correct one. Okay, so that's it. That's how you fix the no sound problem if you've got an M Audio Air interface. Thanks for watching.